Hi there, my name is Michael and today I will be going over the modal component that we've updated within the pajamas um, library. So it's still called modal, but what we want to highlight is the fact that, that there's now uh, properties on the side here that you can control the visibility of the headers, the footers, the title, and inside the title you can actually type inside here or you can continue typing like what you're used to inside here and if it goes really long um, we've added the ability for the title to wrap so let me just change this to demo and keep it nice and short um, the thing that is really new as of last week is this idea of um, component properties and with component properties what we need to um, what it allows us to do is to replace the content inside here so in, in our case is this area inside here uh, outlined in the purple and historically if you wanted to change something in there beyond text uh, you would have to detach the component and um, put your stuff in there and yeah that component is always detached so if there's any changes to the padding headings or buttons um, your component wouldn't get those updates but there's a better way to do that so let's say I wanted to add uh, this thing here as the body of my modal so here is my component uh, my frame um, let me just let me just call it commit box and the key thing that these things need to be is for it to be a component so it can be detected um, inside here so if I change this to a component and I go into here I can click in here and click commit box and just like that everything gets updated I've designed my commit box with some padding in it and as a result it kind of looks strange inside here so um, what we recommend you to do is just to design your components without any extra padding so that they just fit nicely where they belong within the design or within the existing component now that's cool um, let's try a more complex scenario and I've prepared something earlier here so commit box 2 it has some extra functionality here and once again I'm just going to turn this into a component um, and I click in here commit box 2 now appears up on the side and I click on it and you get all the benefits of resizing or do you for those who are really astute and can see things uh, clearly here um, this one um, the text box is going outside the screen so thing that you need to be um, mindful of is to ensure that your components fill the container and not to use uh, fixed width so I can go into my component here there's this thing here over on the group side we have fixed and I want to change that to fill container by changing it to fill it goes right up to where the padding is I don't need to worry about what exactly that is because that's already determined by the component and yeah it's 16 pixels so I didn't need to do anything extra to ensure that that thing works and now I can resize this component to my heart's content and everything stays in place um, so this is a really good uh, improvement to how uh, we can work and a, probably another good way for you to Think about how components can be used more as UI layouts and thinking about swapping the content within um, so that um, you can have more reusabilities within the components and things. Thank you.